that's yours, now that's architect. Man, I'm in the building, now I'm on the real thing. Jeb on come like the architect. Shots fired, no one's blasting yet. So who's the best? No one answered yet. Nobody taking a chance with Jeb. I said, no one taking that chance with Jeb. I mean, Coming up next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. the reigning defending undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. And once again, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Van Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England, Championship of the world. It's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 31 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Debian. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 17 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kid Dynamite! 
All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. So here we go with round one of this UFC welterweight championship fight. All eyes on the champion as he looks to defend the title yet again. Prior to his title reign, we saw this 170-pound title change hands quite a bit. Not so since here on the strap. We'll see if he can keep it here tonight against the number one contender. All right, Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Oh, man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but he did not react fast enough to secure the top position. And just like that, back to a standing position. We'll see who has the advantage. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest. Take it down, turn. Take it down, turn. Over and over. He secures the take down. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Here. Nicely done. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your point. Oh, that's a good right hand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And just misses with that big right hand. Flips the guard, lands the right hand. Out of range with that one. Right, it looks like spoon spoon. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he can... Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Right hand upstairs. And now it's the oh, shot finds the target there. Great shot land. Now he's got to go find that follow up again. Kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Trying to set up a submission now. position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hip, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. 
All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. And now he's got that tight. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Pretty good series of knees by him there, DC. He told us on Thursday he the hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. Right now it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Fighter trying to come and he's out. Ninety seconds to go. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. One minute. Five seconds remain in the round. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. You ready? You ready? Go, Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Good jab. Left hand punch with the clinch. Nice. Oh, good opportunity to do All right, so now we're on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here in there. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I haven't appreciated setting up a sub here. is pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're losing fun. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Maya. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Maya's lower jaw does not look that way. Takedown. Great job. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. All right, pretty good series of knees by him there. So mixing up the striking really well in this fight tonight. Fantastic fighter. But when he added knees to his game, he became even better. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is. But... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Throws the right hand there. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Oh, 
Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's the in for a good night. The record is on repeat. Wash and rinse over and over again. It's takedown after takedown. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, wow. All right, fighting out of the clinch here, and not for long. Nice trip to get the take -down. Yeah, sometimes, John, you have a guy that is just so versatile that they go. Wow! What a fantastic save. Oh! Oh! He's hurt. Throws him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Down the door. He's done. He's done. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of doing just that. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at 52 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC Walter White champion of the world, Kid Dynamite. So the celebration is officially on after a successful UFC welterweight title defense here tonight. He will go out the same way he came in as the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. He is your winner by knockout. And what a way to send a statement to the rest of the contenders in this division that it is going to take a monumental effort to dethrone this 170-pound king.